Hello! Welcome to No Pants Gaming. It's a new series. It's Blasphemous, a game I have been waiting to bring to this channel. Uh, cause I love this game. It's like it's a Metroidvania with the with within a macabre style that's very close to like Dark Souls, I would I would say. Uh, in terms of like the artwork. Uh, it's fantastic Metroidvania. A buddy uh, my buddy Brandon um, Showed me this game, and I instantly was like, "Yes, give me all of this in my mouth right now! I want, it, I, I want, I want this game." <laughs> and finally decided to get around to doing a series of this, of this, of this, of this thing, this thing we're about to, we're about to, to, to do together. This adventure, this journey into this weird, oh, man, weird. I, I guess like it's definitely very like. It's definitely got like religious tones to it, I would say. Like the way like what's like the tone of it. Like that that's that's I think that was like probably the most striking thing of me to me about this game is like its overall tone. I was just like, oh, this is like this is getting dark and broody. I like it. I like it. I mean, first of all, like this dude this dude here, the uh the prophet or something. No, he's not the prophet. Can't remember what his name is. Well no, is I, I he he's he's the whole point of this game is like Kind of like it's kind of like Dark Souls in the way we go about things. Like, you are the one that's going to save the world or not save the world, and you got to go and kill all these things and get like the energy sources. <laughs> it's kind of like it. It's 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 weird. We're like revealing like the truth to the people and stuff. So it's it's wild. It's wild. We'll, we'll start a new pilgrimage. Start a new pilgrimage. I always, I, I got close to 100% of my first time around. Now, I've, I've even gone through this game a second time, so this is gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna see what I, what I can remember. It's pretty tight. It's a pretty tight game. The, the style, the art style is. Mm, mm, it's good. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna see some shit, guys. Your punishment and level it deep. Yeah, you're just like, you do what now? My guilt once again. Weird. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Weird. This game still like confuses me. All right. Just like right off the bat, it's like, whoa, who is this lady? And she stabbed herself, I guess. Oh hell yeah! Like the Arsar feels like very like PlayStation One to me. And thus, like that era. Guilt, repentance, mourning, and every pain of the soul of all kind were visibly and tangibly manifested everywhere. And in all of us. Yeah, we all feel it Sometimes now. Gotcha. In the form of blessing and grace. Sometime mm. in the form of punishment and corruption. Meaning things are going to sprout that arms and tongues and scream at you. Pious and cruel, which we could not and will never be able to unravel, was called the miracle. And why all this happens? Why why is all this here? What is what's the point of all this? I think it's like pretty much like what's happening. We're gonna see if I can kinda of like grasp the like story the second time around. <laughs> because I didn't think too much like too uh too much deeper like into the game. I was just I I I just went through the game, had had a great time in journey, but the story was kind of, still kind of like weird how we, how it's put together. Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. Oh, nice. LB. Oh, we awaken. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> Let me just smash that on my face. <laughs> this is how we take potions in this game. We just take the vial and just smack it on our on our face, and the blood just like goes on us. I guess. Uh, bibl yeah, the bibulary flask. Okay. Uh, these custard flasks were refilled by kneeling at the premi dew. The, the premi dew. The premi dew. Gotcha. Uh, all right. Cool. I love right off the bat. Like right off the bat. 
Love the backdrop, love the foreground. Great. Now, definitely what I when, when I noticed right away, like our like my my hat, my my long, like my long top hat triangle triangle top hat. There's like a bunch of these all also like all a bunch of my helmets are like lying around here. So it's like oh, so we're, are we just like another one in the cog? We are the one that's going to force the right path. Maybe, maybe. Nice. And so this game, like, I thought it was like I, I just I, so I just recently played Symphony of the Night, like the like one of the original like uh, boys of the genre, and I thought like this game was kind of like Symphony of the Night, just kind of based on what I'm seeing. Like, I, mm, not really. Symphony of the Night is very is much more like uh, it's much more faster paced than uh, than this game in a way. Or it's just it's just developed it's just different different laid laid out I guess like the level design. Joking through the church. Oh yeah, that's right. You can like just he smacks himself up. It's our bonfire, the preemie doo. Right. So this, this is how you save and where you go when you when you die, and everything respawns. Do, do, do. I like it. I like the slide too. This game has some really good controls, but it's kind of brutal. Oh, homeboy! Oh, he looked bad. Oh, I'm sure he's friendly. Warden the Silent Solero. Oh, woo! Yeah, it just gets right into it, man. Right into it. Right into that action. Woo. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Nice. Ha! Oh, I can do it. I can do it. I also don't like the fact that he's like basically naked. This guy's wild. Ha! Ha! ha. You really, you, you know, I I know I'm a you know advocator for like not wearing pants, but like you should put on some pants. <laughs> I'm right at dick level. All right, well he's done. Nice. I love this screen right here. Really love that screen. Oh, this is where it gets weird. If it isn't already weird. So we take off our helmet, pour it, pour the blood of the dude in there, and then put it on our head. Like, what? Why? Like, why would you do? Why would you do that? <laughs> this game's weird, dude. I'm just like, oh, all right, man. I. I dig it. Dig it. All right. Uh, ha. Ha. Nice. I did it. I hit it. Uh, you need the key. The key to the chamber that was probably to open this door. Got it. Cool. So, like in in Metroid fashion, we do like come back here and and all that to certain all these different areas and stuff. This world is very fantastic. Like this, like this guy. Regretful be the heart, penitent one. The anguish of the eldest brother has now come to an end. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Pen, pen, it's Penton One is my name. I am Deo Gracias, witness to and narrator of the acts of the grievous. Right. Uncle. Such is my penance. As yours is silence. Right, right, like yeah. So my thing, I, I believe, is like I'm. I had to carry out this will. Like this is what this is what I was given to by the miracle. This is what I'm. I what I do. And this guy, Dio Gracias, he is his his penance is to uh, record everything that's happening, regardless of like what horrible things he sees or whatnot or whatever he sees, like. Is like truth or or whatnot. He's he's not to get involved or anything. He's just to record what is happening. I believe he's gonna show us him too. Yeah. The cradle of affliction is what you seek. This can be found in the mother of mothers of the churches. Mother of mothers. There's a lot of like things to remember in this game. He looks awesome. 
Even a wise penitent like me knows nothing of what lies beyond those high walls. Ah, oh, well, I'll, I'll show you, man. Take my hand. We're going to go on an adventure. I'll, I, you're, you're going to see everything across the world. Kill three things that humiliate you in, in the world. Like three past humili humiliations that you had in life that you could like like you want to like erase. <laughs> One of them must be performed in the high mountains, covered in thick blankets of hey, he basically tells us like where they are, too. Another in the depths of a dark, entombed church where the sleeper lies. Uh, it's, it's a great place to sleep, honestly. Also, I just want to hear this, listen to this dude talk. <laughs> I love the voice acting in this game. It's great, dude. It, it's it, it's really just like top notch. It, it just sucked me in. It just sucked me in. Now it's like I don't know. I don't really want. I don't want to talk over this. This is just oh, it's brilliant. Take this thorn and oh. Place it on the handle of your sword. Oh, are you gonna give me a gift? Yeah. And makes you bleed. Weird. Yeah. Having grown with more thorns sprouting from it, writhing over the figure of the father carved into the knob. Yeah, his sword is, is awesome. That will mean that you are at the mercy of the grievous miracle, whether for its punishment or its forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like if you if you take a like like closer look at the sword, like the um the statue that the that woman was like holding or whatever, like that is like the hilt of the sword, I believe. It's pretty wild. Nice. He gave me a thorn. Ah, oh, he's such a nice guy. Uh, right. So I believe these are these are just like power ups. Uh. Uh. I don't think it, oh, maybe this doesn't do anything. I think this is just like okay. Never mind. This is something different. Oh, okay. He just like all right. Okay, it's just like a present. It's like hey, you are uh, you're gonna go on this journey, or whatever, under the eyes of the dude or whoever. Uh, what you got anything else to say? Oh. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, man. Well, I'll catch you later, man. I'll catch you later. We'll have a beer next time. I think. What if he like? Oh, this is something I'm just like wondering. Like, so he's we're gonna see him a lot. He's gonna like pop up. So like, is he just gonna like? He he just he does he just kneel down with these little things here and just takes them with him and just moves on to the next spot. Very wild. It's also little tiny people holding this, uh, altar up. Everything has significance in this game. This, this, the lore in this, me, the lore in this world is pretty, pretty awesome. Nice. Hey, hey, back off, man! All right, there we go. Kill that bird. Can I not? Oh, I can't kill a bird. No, I want to kill the bird. Nice. I, th I think we eventually can like just like, mm, uh, oh man. Oh, that's right. That's a parry. Right, right, right. Yeah. Hey, hey. Ow. Hey, I'm gonna, gonna parry you. Ha! Gonna parry you. Ha! Oh, I'm using the rub on. Parry! That's it. There we go. Ow. Damn. Ha! Nice. Alright. Got a guy with the wheel. Ha. Oh, shit! <laughs> That's not gonna work. May think. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh, I could have done a finisher. All right, that's that's what that's what it is. Nice. So this game's got some pretty awesome combat. I really hope they come out with like a like a boss rush mode where you just face all the bosses or fight all the bosses. That would be awesome. Uh, what's this? What we got here? A little orb. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh. Uh. For 
Uh, sound that fill the air during the vicinity of the Lost Village. This power finds its way through the floor. Can you see Wilson's here? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, wrong button. Like this. Ha! My magic. It's my magic. I got the magic power now. Yeah, so there's like all different items scattered throughout the world that you can that you can get by certain abilities and whatnot. All that, all that jazz. Like we can't get up here yet, I don't think. We need like a double jump or something. You know, the Metroidvania like format. This is what this is what you do. You walk around the world and he's like, hey, that looks like a pair of wings that can help me get to a greater height. Awesome. You know, like, hey, that looks like a suit that will let me walk through lava, you know. <laughs> the basics. They're all here. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. There it is. I think I. Mm, oh, oh, where I can just jump on the ledge. Can I just, can I just already do this? Like, can I go back and get that item? Let's go try. Let's see if we can get stuff. I think I don't think we can reach this height, but maybe. No, I can't reach that height. I think we maybe we get like some grappling hook or something like that. Something. It's something. In that, in that way. Oh, oh. Ha! Nice. And you gain uh, like experience just from fighting, um, like the other. Like monsters and stuff. Or like, uh, oh, oh, the baby, the creepy baby. <laughs> Children of the moonlight, creepy babies with masks. <laughs> Weird man. You'll find them caged all over C Custodia. Uh, uh, Custodia, Custodia. I don't know. You can release it with any kind of technique, right? Yeah, so there's there, we gotta get all the we gotta get all the babies. We gotta get all the babies. Oh, nice, nice. Aha! Not today, son. Not today. Not today. I am the penitent one. I will smite everybody. And we got a little story. I mean, ah, oh, I mean, come on. There's always an answer. There's always an answer for everything. It just, just not, it just not might not be the answer that you want. Is all. Uh, God. yeah. Oh, tell me about the map, right on. And so that, like this, this, um, uh, this, this game is quite large. I don't know if it's as large as like Hollow Knight or The Messenger. I think it's more on the line with Messenger, but it's a big game, uh, so it's we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna see a lot. I would say one thing I don't like, I don't, I didn't like right off the bat, uh, as well is uh, Hollow Knight um, has like markers and stuff that you can put down for various like various things, like a ton of markers just to make it easier on you to like to, to, to remember stuff. But this game isn't. I don't think. I don't think. I think it's fine. We'll be all right. Something I can do with this fountain later, and I can't remember what. So we're in a nice little town here. Nice little town. You know, they, they seem like they're doing all right here. Totally, totally fine here. I think they're, I think they're getting along just fine. Sorrowful be the heart, penitent one. Welcome to Albero, sanctuary to this humble brotherhood of the Albero. Oh, that's right. Uh, the kissers of wounds. Yeah. Okay, that's right. They, yeah. They kiss the wounds. Here who can still employ it. Mm, what a weird way to heal. Okay. That's right. Who still care for the sick and clearly. Clearly. <laughs> kisses, we bless the wounds of those who seek our protection. Weird. Thus both we and they remain at the mercy of the Just imagine like walking into somewhere like this. Like people are being like are wounded and they're being like treated and stuff like that. But then you need to see them like just like making out. With with the with the people that are wounded, <laughs> just we not really make it out. But <laughs> it's just oh, just like whoa, what are they? Wait, so they heal by kissing? Weird, weird. Time just a little weird. These walls by strangely. 
In sundown, <laughs> we need not contemplate. Wow. <laughs> it's like holy kissing matters. All right. Penance happens to carry you under said skies. Be so kind as to bring us some ingredients for our ointments. Oh, right, right. You can give him like uh you can give him stuff and he'll help and he'll give you like power-ups in return. The will and the miracle shall show you which ones they are. Uh okay. Cool, man. From outside these walls passes by strangely. Infant, if your okay. Oh, okay. He just repeat himself. Do, 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 do. What's this? What we got here? The dove, uh, dove skull. Uh, okay. Oh, is this a rosary bead? Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. So there's quite a different. There's a few ways you can like upgrade upgrade yourself. You can have you can upgrade your, be your beads. Uh, uh, you can upgrade your. I believe this is my. Is this that might be my sword. No, that's my sword. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's fucking cool looking. I love it. Yeah, so there's like quite a different things. There's, and there's like a whole skill system here. It's got a lot. This game's got a lot of like fun ways to like go about how you want to carry out your the the carry out your your penance or whatever. Uh, so what is uh, this? Uh, strength of one's defenses. All right, rad. Cool. Um, and I believe if we go down here. All the way down here. More people just kissing wounds. Like that, like that right there. This right here just looks like they're totally making out. <laughs> uh, I think it's right here. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Here we go. This thing looks great. It's like a metal, like, album cover waiting to happen, you know? Yeah, it's like, all right, here you go. Here's the sword. Weird. Oh, all right, cool. Thank you. Uh oh. Well, oh. ooh. <laughs> awesome. Everything, like every cutscene in this game, is a metal album when it happened. <laughs> nice. Mia Kobo Shrines. Or Culpa. Mia Culpa Shrines. This is a Mia Culpa Shrines to decrease your power of your sword. You can also spend the Tears of Atonement to unlock combat techniques. Visit additional shrines and increase Mia Culpa's strength and that's just more powerful techniques. Awesome. You got it, man. Yeah, so it's just another way to upgrade, man. Uh, yeah, okay, so this is how we, like, we upgrade our actual, like, ability abilities. And we spend money or souls or whatever they want to call it. Um... By, you get that by beating enemies, just killing things. Um, so what we got here, depending on what points. Uh, fourth finish, finish attack. Uh, that's really nice. I don't have enough of that. Um, it calls on a plague, allowing the patient to release its full potential on a single but incredible devastating attack. So that's charge attack. Uh, yeah, we want this. Um, <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Mm. Oh, that one's also really good. Yeah, that's like, yeah, it's a thrust. So when we dodge, we can do like a big thrust. Like, that's really helpful. Oh, man, I kind of want to save up for that. Uh, that's, that's that's the best, man. That's the best. I mean, like, get, get, do it, doing the, the downward downward Zelda, <laughs> the downward link, whatever you want to call it, like, is a, is a great move. But I think I'd rather save up for the secret thrust. That can help you get out a lot of, like, scenarios. Um, all right. Um, I don't think we'll call this one an episode. Next one. Next, had the next time. Tinny, we'll do more. We'll do more of this awesome game. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay positive. Love your life. Bye-bye.